finger licking good. I love it, Chunky. Butter, butter, butter. Today we're making guacamole. That's one of my favorite dishes of all times. I love, love, love avocado. I could eat these every day. I can put them on everything. But today we're gonna stick with guacamole. So let me start by letting you know what ingredients we have in this dish. Beautiful green fresh lime. We have fresh garlic. It's already been peeled. And this is a type of onion called the shallot. I've already peeled it and prepared it. This is what's gonna make the guacamole spicy. This is a jalapeno pepper. We're gonna use Roma tomatoes. You can use whatever tomato you like, but I'm gonna use Roma today. And of course, my favorite, the avocado. I'm gonna start with the shallot because that takes the longest and the garlic. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is peel my shallot, which I've already done, and I'm gonna continue cutting my shallots in thin strips. Notice I kept the root of the shallot intact because that way, as you cut it, look at that, nothing falls apart. We wanna dice this as fine as we can get it. And then we're gonna move on to our garlic. Okay, what you wanna do is make sure your garlic is chopped very fine. You don't want little bits of garlic that you can feel in your mouth, but you want that garlic flavor. Next is what makes it spicy. We've got the jalapeno. I've already cleaned it. I'm gonna cut the top off and I'm gonna slice it down the middle. As you will notice, there are seeds inside of, the, uh, inside of the jalapeno. And if you want your avocado spicy, like I like it spicy, I'm gonna leave the seeds intact. But if you like it mild, take a few of the seeds out. If you don't like the hot at all, take all of the seeds out. And then it'll give you a nice mild, but you'll still taste the Mexican flavors. And I can appreciate the Mexicans for guacamole. Oh, I love it. Once we have our jalapeno finely chopped, we can move on to our tomatoes and get those chopped. If you notice, there's a lot of fresh ingredients in guacamole. That's what I love about it the most. It's such a fresh, awesome summer dish. Don't tell anybody, but I eat it as a meal. Now I'm dicing my tomato, nice and small, but it doesn't have to be as small as the garlic and the jalapenos because sometimes I like to feel the texture of the tomatoes in the recipe. Just makes it all that much more fresh. Next, I'm gonna grab my lime. Now I'm gonna squeeze the lime and I have a lime squeezer for this. Just make sure you cover the lime while you're squeezing it because you don't want to shoot somebody in the eye. So you want to squeeze at least uh, one or two limes. And let me tell you what the lime juice does. The lime juice actually keeps the avocado from turning brown. So it gives it a flavor. It gives it that nice acidity flavor, but it also protects the guacamole. You don't want to look in your refrigerator the next day and the guacamole is brown. The last item I'm going to cut open is our avocado. What you do is you take your knife, you push it into the skin, and soon as you feel that seed, you start to turn your knife. This is, I love cutting an avocado. It feels like it's just such a trick. You turn it, and then all of a sudden you hold your avocado on both sides and you give it a little twist. And as soon as you open up, the seed is exposed. You take your knife, watch your fingers, push it in, and give it a twist, and there you have it. What I like to do is prepare my avocado by slicing it inside the skin so that it's half sliced by the time it gets into the bowl. And that way, um, that cuts down on the work. And then I'm gonna scoop it out into our bowl. Okay. So right now I have three avocados peeled and sliced inside the bowl. 
I'm gonna need to make them a lot smaller for the dish. I am going to take a wooden spoon and start to mash some of that avocado. For guacamole, you don't want it too chunky. You want it to have a little texture, but you want it to start becoming a creamy. I even use avocado as spread for my bread and I use it as a topping for my burgers. Okay, once I have my avocados partially mashed, now I'm gonna start adding ingredients. The first thing I wanna do is salt them to give them some flavor. That's gonna bring out the flavor of all of these ingredients. So I use kosher salt and I'm just gonna, once again, I don't measure. I'm just gonna pop in at least, for you I would say, a teaspoon. Now kosher salt, you have to use double the salt because it's, it doesn't have as much sodium as regular salt. Some people didn't know that. So it's not like sea salt. Sea salt is much more saltier, but kosher salt is less salty. So you have to add just a little bit more. So since I like it salty, I'm gonna add another pinch, but you don't have to add that second pinch. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my shallots. Based on how much avocado I have, I'm gonna pop in at least, I would say this looks like about two tablespoons full of shallots. And I'm gonna put in at least one teaspoon of garlic. Some people like more garlic than others. I like more garlic, but I'm not gonna go too strong today. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my tomatoes. I like a lot of tomatoes. Some people like to go a little easy on the tomatoes, but I would say maybe a half a cup of tomatoes at least. Then I'm gonna pop in my jalapeno, sprinkle that in, and it's all to taste. You wanna just kind of figure it out based on what you know you like. Okay, I'm gonna take at least one full tablespoon of the lime juice and pour that all around. And lastly, but not least, cilantro. Cilantro gives it an awesome flavor, but we don't have fresh cilantro today. So I'm just gonna use a few of the bottled flakes. And the flavor is still good. I would say that's about at least a full teaspoon. Um, if you're chopping it fresh, you can put more because fresh is less less strong than the bottled version. The bottled version is always a little bit stronger than what you would get fresh. Now I'm mixing, whoa, I'm mixing all of those ingredients together. Of course, our version is always a little sinful. So what you do is put it in a nice bowl for serving. Your guests are gonna love it. And I usually serve it with chips, sour cream, and it's great for a party, it's great for a little midnight snack. Well, you know that would be sinful, but I love it, I can eat it every day. And if you want it sinful, you're gonna get it straight from us, sinfully good. Until next time. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and our website, www.sinfullygoodtv.com.